Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April the 21st, and it's a continuation of Harry Potter Week at Creative Quarantine here with Russell Loves Art. Today we are going to be drawing Nocturne Alley. So, first things first, again, we're using a general pencil company, Kimberly 4B Pencil. It's my go to pencil. We're going to be using a high polymer eraser by Pentel. A kneaded eraser, again another general uh, pencil company product. It's my wonderfully shaped teardrop kneaded eraser. So I can do detail erasing to the tip and larger areas on the bottom. And I also have, this is a Butterfly Original Snoopy Doghouse Hand Pencil Sharpener. <clears throat> so we're going to get started here. And we're going to, this is, uh, uh, during the week, you know, I have a schedule of, of things I'm going to draw. Mondays are definitely going to be uh, personification, where we have animals doing, or things doing people things, and Tuesdays are places. So we're doing Nocturne Alley from the world of Harry Potter. Okay, so how we're going to get started first, we're basically going to be using this whole space here and I'm going to start off with creating the window space one of the window spaces of Borgen and Burks which is a fictional store of crazy dark curios and I'm gonna everything here in Nocturne Alley is gonna have kind of a, a weird kind of shape to it it's not gonna be perfectly square <clears throat> and so they have these in the movies and as well as illustrations for some of the children's books they have these kind of curved windows so I'm going to be showing one of these curved windows and then I'm going to crowd all this in here to make it look like a really crowded alleyway of Nocturne Alley so we're going to push some perspective as well we're going to make a signpost here coming out from the wall so if you're just joining me I am getting these things up and we're doing again Harry Potter this week Harry Potter theme week this week So we're going to do the curved windows, just like so. Boom, boom, boom. Having these curve out. Boom. Down here, we're going to have a more extreme curve. We're going to have almost a straight across curve. Boom. And then here, we're going to have slowly getting to that more deep curve because I want to be able to show hmm maybe I want to tighten that up a little bit yes let's do that do this it's almost straight across and then we'll do this yeah that's better okay now so this is going to be a store window. So these are the kind of the frames that divide it. Boom, boom, boom. I'll put these in real quick. Yeah. Okay. And then this is going to be. A sign for Borgen and Burks. And I'm going to just show a part of it, not the entirety of it. Okay. So, now that we have kind of Nocturne Alley's beginning here, we're going to. Also 
show this really kind of close, and then this is going to be further away on the side. Yeah, boom, boom. And then this is going to be diving into it because it's the window. Boom. And just like so. And that's the beginning. Show the side of the frame, the window, just like so, and inset it. Same thing here. Double it up to give it that 3D look. Boom, boom. And this, because we're seeing the bottom of this, on this part here, we're going to show the recess, just like so. Okay, now we're just res I just restarted the video. Hopefully this one's live. Again, we're doing Nocturne Alley. And I'm just working on one side of this composition. So it looks like we were we were alive and then we weren't live, but now we're alive. So I'm doing today Nocturne Alley. And I'm doing the store window of Borgen and Burks right now. Borgen and Burks. Thank you, Eve, for letting me know that the video stream was frozen and that I could restart it. So appreciate that. So all I'm doing right now is working on the store window of Borgen and Burks. I'm going to put some curios in here. So right now I'm just creating the window display for Bergen and Burks. Yeah. Okay. Then there we go. Okay. So we have one side so far of our composition. The next side, we're also going to include, well, we'll come back to putting some stuff into the stir windows, but this is going to be Borgen and Bergs. Put some lines here to indicate where my letters are going to go. That you will be able to see, right? A little distressing there on the side of the window. Put a little wall here coming down. I want to make this look kind of claustrophobic, so I'm going to be pulling some lines down as if we're in a really narrow alleyway. Claustrophobic. Make a door. And then over here, right here, 
we're going to create really a cramped staircase going up this way. A little landing here, yeah. And even more cramped. So our, I want to make these steps look like they're ancient, like they've been around for a millennia or few, a few millennia. Okay, so I'm going to build these as if they've seen better days. And I'm using, so the rise, this is the rise going up and the run. And the run is going to be narrower than the rise, because I want to give it that kind of look. And it's been abused and used for a millennia. So I'm going to have it kind of sag in the middle. If anybody who's ever traveled to Europe, you know rock stairs or like stone steps. The more they're used and the older they are, the more saggy they're going to be kind of in the middle, right? So I'm gonna make, as we go up, I'm going to make the rise and the run smaller and smaller and smaller. And narrow that, ri the run, narrow the run. And notice how I'm staggering ever so slightly to give that illusion. I use this little line here to kind of guide. I want to make it look really steep too. Okay. And then I'm going to push my next set of stairs this way. push them even more so it's an illusion and push this is going to be a wall okay be another wall here going up okay and I'll put some some doors up here too as well and then we'll have a little bit of light coming out from the top. This will be the opening, this space right here, going out of Nocturne Alley. Okay. I'll put a door at the bottom here. Maybe is that tall? Yeah. archway of some sort with light coming through it. Yeah. Maybe another one on this side. If you've ever traveled to any old world spot, you're going to know what I'm talking about here. Actually, I'm going to make this just an archway. I'm going to change this up. This is just going to be an archway, not a door. Yeah. And I'll have this going that way. Straight across. Okay. Creepy. And that'll be a door. Getting out of Nocturne Alley. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have an old school lamp right here. Give it a little bit. 
bit of light. Yeah. Up here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So right now, we have a very narrow, very creepy looking spot here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Borgen and Burks is right here. With their sign, their wares. Archway going down another passageway, yeah. Just off the steps. Okay. So we'll put some brickwork here. And notice how I did not use any vanishing points here. I am just going off of my intuition as an artist on perspective. So some of the stuff is, frankly, guesswork, but also coming from a place of intimate knowledge with perspective. So this whole week is Harry Potter week. Next week, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think it might be Marvel week. And then the week after next is going to be Star Wars week because it's going to be May the 4th that week. Hi, Lucy. So if you are a Star Wars geek, like many of my generation, you'll be in for a treat. I have been really enjoying my time during this, you know, shelter in place. Just because I've been, recently I've been watching a lot of <laughs> YouTube videos on street cooks, you know, making fried rice and pad thai and ultimate omelets and things like that. It's just been fascinating to me. All right, so we're going to do some bricks. We're going to vary the brick pattern here, as you can see. And this is important to give that illusion of bricks. And so notice I'm varying the lines as I'm going through this process. Boom, just like that. I'm going to move over here. And darken this up here. I'm going to preserve this area over here as, as light so that that will be kind of like as Harry is kind of stumbling through this maze of Nocturne Alley when he got caught back here because he didn't say Diagon Alley correctly. He has a place to run to and try and find his bearings. Right. 
right? Scary, scary place. That's my dog. Not very happy. Okay. Get rid of this line. This line. Don't need it. All right. And I'm breaking up some of these lines just because I, I want to make the neighborhood not seem so clean, you might say. That's really a way to describe it, but I want to look a little haggard, if that makes any sense. Okay, do some brickwork over here. We're going to make these bricks, you know, as we go through, we're going to make them look more like old stones and create larger seams here. It's going to be an interesting little thing here. So I'm just using kind of broken lines and creating some space between these to create seams. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday. It's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow, so if you can get outside, please enjoy the weather. It's going to be nice outside tomorrow. It's going to be in the 70s. You know? If you're any of my students watching this and you haven't turned any work in, you better get cracking. Because, I mean, at a certain point, guys, I have to grade something. And if you give me nothing to grade, well, I have no choice but to kind of ding you. I have an obligation to assess something that you've done over this kind of crazy time that we're, we're all in right now. So you must do something for me. You got to. So again, I'm just going through and just kind of creating distress lines, breaking up edges so that's not this like perfect little place. Ooh, I need to make this a little bit narrower. Yeah. Got a new wetsuit over this time period of kind of shelter in place and you know my my wife doesn't want me to go surfing because she's concerned about a me surfing she's always concerned about me surfing because you know there are big fish that have been known to eat men or attack guys and gal but also just COVID-19. It's kind of a scary thing right now. You know? So. I'm excited, though, when this whole thing kind of clears up. Being able to use my new wetsuit. Look at that. Okay. This is going to be 
wood up here. So we'll make these kind of like slats. them into each other just like so. Boom. See that? Boom. And that's all gonna be kind of in shadow. <laughs> yeah, I know there are no waves right now. But you know when they come which I doubt, because the closer we get to summer, the smaller the swell is going to be. So, Messing with my mind. Messing with my mind. Okay. Now, let's just put in our Borgen and Bergs. Bogan, and you can't see that. And we'll do a little A. Hi, Nico. And Perks. Yes. It's funny that I almost put it with a U. And there we are. Bogan and Bugs. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Pablo. That's sweet of you. All right, now, we've got a lot of cool things going on here. Now that we're here, we can start a little bit of shading. Yeah, but maybe, maybe I need to put something into the shop windows, yeah. So first things first, let's put um, an old school kind of lamp, oil lamp in here, shall we? Yeah, let's let's do that. That's going to shine all over these wares. And it's hanging up with a reflector wick light. This is going to be an intense shading job, folks. Intense. All right. So we have some light. 
Let's put some sh some kind of display in this window, yeah? Let's figure that out. What's that? What is that going to be? What are we going to be? What are we going to have in here? So maybe some shrunken heads. What do you think? Let's first maybe let's put a skull right here. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. You'd think Borg and Burks would have kind of a skull in the window, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely include some shrunken heads. Let's do that. And then maybe this is on top of a an old book of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe from over here, we'll have some shrunken hands with their hair holding them up. I mean, is it Borgen and Burke without shrunken heads? I don't know. What's interesting is a lot of times when we're drawing as artists, we're also kind of drawing ourselves. So this the shape of this shrunken head looks a lot like me. Uh, let's see what else. Let's do some more books. Kind of stacked up here in the window. Shelf, maybe it's a display, so we'll give it some legs. Choo -choo -choo -choo. There we go. Book, 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 book. And books are easy to kind of give you the illusion of a book just by some very strategic shading. When you want to draw hard pages, you just hard line and then stop. It's almost like drawing hair in a lot of senses, just like that. Boom. Okay, now, maybe we're gonna have some old broomsticks an old broomstick of some sort, yeah. Hanging up. Right, yeah, an old broomstick. Maybe a bunch, maybe we'll do a bunch of broomsticks. Old broomsticks that have been discarded by their owners for fancier, newer broomsticks, yeah? I mean, in the wizarding world, I'm sure there's consumerism just like in our society, right? 
Boom. Broomsticks. And maybe a curio cabinet of some sort. Who knows? Yeah? Put a little bit of wood there. Okay. Displays, 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 yeah. Look okay, at some more shrunken heads back in the back. Nailed up to this piece of wood, this display board. Yeah. Boom. Flames coming out, maybe, shoot, what are we going to put over here? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, maybe some, some of these guys, these little bubbles that kind of, it's like glass things that cold likes. I don't know, I have a colleague that, Put skeletons and stuff in this. Ishler. We'll just make it empty for right now. Put things in the back. And just a little bit of shading. Those placeholders. There's the interior of our shop for right now. Simple. Keep it simple. All right. Now we are 38 minutes, 38 minutes in, and I have a lot of work to do when it comes to shading. So I might not finish this on time. I don't know, man. So first things first, we're gonna put down a piece of paper to prevent smudging. We're gonna grab uh, this pencil here, and we're gonna just start over here and now we're going to use a singular direction shading not going too dark but dark enough where we're going to do a middle value here because it's furthest away from our light source coming from the alleyway above here right in here so that's going to be our light area, right? So I'm going to shade all the way through here. Okay. And this is going to be the darkest area. So some of the stuff that I drew, I'm going to just be covering over, which is fine. Okay. I'm also going to darken this area here. This is going to be more like stucco, this area over here. Okay. I'm actually going to have light coming out from this archway area, going into another part of the alleyway, or another alleyway in particular. Okay. Now I'm just putting down base for right now. A base tone to create this kind of dark alleyway look. And again, I'm going to preserve this area here, this white paper area, to create that illusion that you know we're going to come out of the alleyway. It's not going to look too spooky. I'm also going to do some shading in here. I'm going to darken those letters later. Distress them a little bit. Same thing on this side. I'm going to make these areas darker. move through and just kind of do this quickly so I can get to some of the details. Mm -hmm. 
So on the rise of my steps going up, the rise is going to be darker than the run. And the reason that is, is because light is going to be hitting the run from the alleyway. So again, I'm going to preserve this area here because that's going to be the light of the alleyway that Harry Potter is trying to get to when he winds up in Borgen Burks. Now, if you missed the beginning of this, please understand you can click the link in my bio and go to my YouTube page and follow along from the very beginning. I had to restart, so it's gonna be kind of in a, it's gonna be spliced together later on. But we'll figure it out. The video, <laughs> still learning. I am not what you would call technology literate. If that makes any sense. <laughs> So now I'm going through and kind of darkening certain areas that I know I need to darken to make them look three-dimensional, which is like key. All right. So I just wanted to go through and preserve those areas real fast. Before I move on and went too far. There we go. All right. All right, now, here we go. I'm gonna clean up some of this area here. We're gonna use directional lines to show the, the shape of the archway here.
Same thing for this one, but I want to show like a recess in the wall here that is leading to a doorway. Yeah, just a little hint. Okay, same thing up here. Distance. All right. Darkening the floor here. Okay, I'm also going to go in to the brickwork a little bit, darkening certain sections. Because I'm losing time don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to use a quick cheat and everywhere that I have a seam I'm going to do some shading. Oh, I'm also running out of battery power. Oh my gosh. How'd that happen? Just like so. Real fast, we're going to shade the rise, shade the rise, of these stairs. Yeah, but it's the sound. All right, so we're going to just shade the rise. Just like so. clean this up. Go to the edge here. Darken some of these lines. And then pull up those values. Kind of fade them in. out of time and all I'm doing right now is just kind of tightening up some lines darkening some lines tying up some loose ends here 
and we are almost done. Giving some texture here to the bottom, darkening these lines. with this one for now just because I don't want to lose power midway so this is again Borgen and Burks and we are done thank you again for joining me today here on Tuesday for Harry Potter week stay home stay safe have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock.